Greetings and salutations! How's it going? It's Danthal, remember me? It's been a little while. It's been like uh, five months-ish since we've done an episode of Watch in VR. Uh, but here it is, finally, episode number 10 of Watch in VR. I got some new stuff going on here. We got a new studio. Uh, this is part of why uh, there hasn't been anything going on for a while. I wanted to get some good uh, lighting situations and I wanted to get some new streaming and setups and everything like that. So I'm good now. I got things set up. I got like a PSVR setup over here and I've got an Oculus Rift setup over here. We got a nice new streaming laptop. We got our main computer. Uh, we got got a lot of things going on here. Exciting times moving forward for uh, Watch in VR, the YouTube channel. There's going to be some cool uh, new stuff that I'm doing, uh, specifically streaming PSVR stuff on camera, streaming Rift stuff on camera, doing a whole uh, mess of new things. There's things coming out that are exciting in VR right now. Uh, tomorrow, I am getting the Nintendo Labo VR kit, and I got the whole nice fancy one, and it's got the gun on your face, and it's got the bird with a thing that flaps wind in your face when you have the bird, and then it has the regular headset that you can play, like uh, Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey in there. It's like, whoa, that's crazy. You'd have to hold it up to your face. It's probably not going to be great. But, I mean, it's been a while since they've done anything virtual reality. You remember this, of course, the virtual boy. Uh, this one's really, really ratty, but it works. And then <laughs> these are, like, the worst things ever here. The NS glasses. These came out and uh, for, like, a Kickstarter. I paid 70 bucks, and they're ridiculous. Look at these things. I don't even want to make this an unboxing video. I just want to show you how ridiculous this thing is here. It just comes in this foam. I took it out and put it in once. But you're supposed to get this thing, and you put the uh, switch in there, and then you just put it on your face, and it's like a big magnifying glass. You can probably go... Ah, uh, does it make my mouth look crazy and big? Ah, uh, probably not. But, yeah, you put it on your face, and it's super uncomfortable. You can't even wear glasses. And it just makes everything big. And it doesn't work at all. But Nintendo is going to have the legit version of that that's actually going to be in 3D, not this fake, weird, not stereoscopic at all 3D. Um, and that's, like, tomorrow. <laughs> wow, crazy. Uh, anyways... What we're gonna be watching right after this is uh, footage I got from the Renaissance Festival uh, uh, in Gold Canyon, Arizona. They have a Renaissance Fair, Renaissance Festival every year. Uh, and we've gone like for seven years in a row at least now. I love it, it's like my favorite place. Uh, you may see me in Renaissance Fair shirts uh, as I do more videos and things like that. I'll show you, I have a little collection. Anyway, uh, went to the Renaissance Festival, took the 360 camera uh, and, and, and put it in the, the shelf and I brought out the VR 180 camera to the Renaissance Festival. Last year I took the 360 and the footage just isn't great. Uh, the 180 VR footage is much better. It's got cool stuff. They're doing drums in the beginning and then uh, you get to see some of the, uh, just like the areas that are the nice parts that are most like like the Renaissance uh, in there. And then the, there's some rides and uh, there's the uh, Dead Bob and Tortuga Twins, little samples of them. Uh, one part that when you watch this video to watch out for, you'll be in the uh, place with all the knives. You got like a smithy back there banging on a hammer. At that time, it was uh, raining outside and you can't really tell looking at the video, but when you hear the smithy banging on the gavel, look up and you'll see the rain coming down. It's like the coolest thing ever because like, this is something only really VR 180 can deliver is that experience of being in a place and being able to look around. Uh, another part that I thought was cute is uh, when you're watching the elephants uh, doing their thing, if you look over, there's a couple and they're going up the stairs and they're kissing and it looks sweet and you can't see their faces because the resolution's so low. <laughs> so anyways, a, a lot of fun things going on on there. Uh, I like the scene with the, the guy with the furry 
and uh, the the kids are harassing him, and he's trying to defend that he's really, uh, you know, there's a bunch of furries at the Renaissance Festival. I think I got some extra footage that may or may not come out in other clips. Uh, but yeah, enjoy and watch it. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it is like the, the video that I wanted to be the return for uh, episode 10. I recorded like, I think, two other episode 10s, and I didn't like them because they just didn't feel special. I wanted 10 to be something uh, a little bit bigger, and I wanted to gear up and do some other things. So uh, watch it, enjoy a lot of fun stuff. Have a good one.
pigs drag along with them. Stand up for Dead Bob. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at these eyes, sockets, blah, blah, blah. You are hot as hell. Let's go, oh, Mama. Come out. This one's mine, you old fart. You just sit there and watch her purse while I plonk her in front of a group of friends. Who's your daddy? Oh, yeah. Take it, baby. Runs from behind. <laughs> Badonka bonk. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ned and Fifi eyed each other from across the lane. Ned winked at Fifi. Probably. <laughs> Fifi turned up her nose. <laughs> Very Scottsdale. <laughs> Ned grinned like an idiot. Perfect. <laughs> Fifi sensually wet her lips. Whoa. That was worth waiting for. <laughs> Ned sensually wet his pants. <laughs> Thank you, Ned. Very sensual. <laughs> then Fifi did a sexy boom boom dance to lure Ned over to her. Sexy Ned, go get some Ned. And she did allow sweet Ned a kiss upon her dainty cheek. <laughs> Wrong cheek. <laughs> Then Fifi grabbed the nearby dead Bob Bonker. She showed it to the audience. And bonked Ned's brains out. It didn't take long. Stop it, woman. That's why women aren't born with bonkers. You'd wear it out the first day. Ned lay lifeless in the street. That. <laughs> Like a 90-year-old stuntman, Ned, there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. October. <laughs> to be last for last, and our wildest show of the day, it's our sword fighting ants to today's show, Cobb Buccaneers 3. Not the show involves real sharp sword. Bing, bing, bing. Real bad joke. Oh, you. <laughs> and me humping on his leg. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him smile. <laughs> Guys, that's your wish for me. Well, hello! Let's hear it for Rick Riding Hood! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, everybody, put your hands together for the style of our show! Yeah. That's why the Paul Mountain and that. It could have been you! Now, everybody. He knows the story, right? Oh, I do, I do first. There's some birds and some bees, and then a mommy and daddy, they get together and they share. So, oh, oh, oh. a special hug. <laughs> <laughs> and about nine months later, you get a little bambino. Whoa, whoa, brother, brother. You need to get out more. I do not. I have been out for years. <laughs> oh, everybody calm down. Everybody relax, especially you blushing boy. Yeah. Buddy, it's all just an act. <laughs> he says it's just an act, but you've been practicing in a long, long time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do a secret to sign.